it's Mark Wahlberg. Welcome to Click TV. Welcome to Click TV. Hi, welcome back to Click TV. We're going to have a retrospective look at Resident Evil 6 now because, Daniel, you played it and reviewed it and gave it three and a half stars. I did. Did you mean to? I don't know. I suppose there was a point where I haven't played a huge amount of Resident Evil, so I assumed that the things that I was disliking about it were things that people are kind of okay with. Oh, we all dislike this. Thing. They're fine. They're, they're just, I suppose I, I don't like the story. I found the, the action quite boring. And I thought that these were things that people were, were okay with. But apparently not, because since then, many, many other reviews, good mm. reviews, few good reviews, but plenty of bad ones, mostly from people once they bought the game, they got into it and they yeah. went out and did um, user reviews. So I think. The short hand is it's bad. Yes. Um, and not really worthy of your time or money. Well, not considering all the other titles out this month, which we'll get to later. Yes. But did you like the ambition that Capcom had with this one? <sighs> Four campaigns just, and different play styles, that sort of stuff? It just feels like quantity over quality. I mean, okay, they're going to say this is a single player game that has more than 20 hours, which is very unusual these days. You also have three multiplayer modes. A whole load of reasons to go back and play them again because you can play them as different characters. Yeah. But that's only worthwhile if it's not really dull. Um, I don't. Like, a I fair don't, to criticism. I don't understand the story in these games. I find it very opaque. I find the mythology very weird. I don't care about the characters. But I think that's always been the, the case. The story's never been particularly good in Resident Evil, or has it? No. People seem to love Resident Evil 4, and they're like, oh, that was good. That was, it, it had the good synergy of, for the um, action, though, for, the of the action and horror, but they're, they were never very scary. Especially in number 4, when you're fighting a giant fish the size of a building. That's your or uh, like a weird eight-year-old boy monster. It was, it was a strange game. They're all strange games. So the story isn't what people come to this for. They come to it for, um, typically... Because five wasn't nostalgia. Very, five wasn't very good either. It was no. decently reviewed, but people didn't seem to love it. No, it's one of those ones that the critics go, "Yeah, it's, it's kind of fine," and the gamers are like, "No, no, let's play something else." So like we, Dishonored. We're going to go out there and say that Resident Evil as a series isn't very good. Oh, can we say that? That seems like too, too much honesty for one <laughs> podcast. So let's just kill it there. I, I I think people who finally get around to it, maybe to pick it up at a budget price, they might get a little bit more yeah. fun out of it. It is fun. It's very very easy. It's very accessible, and that's something Capcom was talking yes, about. Yes, if you turn it down to the easiest mode, it's easy <laughs> and accessible. And we all suggest said, you do that. But they've been pretty open in saying they want to get more people in. They want to make more more money, essentially, mm. and that's that's a noble aim. But I think that for a business, in trying to keep a bit of the horror and moving towards the action, they've made a game with kind of substandard mechanics because it's, it's really and story awkward. and graphics <laughs> let's think of something good there is a lot of stuff in there's the a game. lot of wrestling moves in it the wrestling something. and at the end of it someone's head explodes I, if you like your zombie games you can't really avoid Resident Evil though no, I mean not there's, really. there's nothing else out this year to rival it it is a blockbuster title what's in it but uh, we, we can't as, as an entity recommend that you buy Resident Evil 6 right now because other stuff's out like Dishonored which even if it's woeful, it has to be better than Resident Evil 6. True. So Resident Evil 6, apparently it's alright. It's alright if you got really low expectations. Um, which is the aim of this video, apparently. Lower your expectations. This is a primer for your Resident Evil 6 experience. Watch this first and everything else is uphill. Yeah. Um, uphill is downhill. Downhill should be. Anyway, that's Resident Evil 6. That's out now. But we both have to stop drinking before it eats. Probably.